Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, July 2nd. In 1698, an English inventor who studied naval engineering and was drawn to pumping machines, Thomas Savory, is granted a patent for his invention of the steam engine. The engine had no piston, though it used a combo of steam and atmospheric pressure. In 1776, during the revolution, the Continental Congress in Philadelphia meet and vote in favor of independence. It would be two days later that delegates from the 13 colonies would convene to adopt the Declaration of Independence, though July 2nd is the original date of the Declaration. In 1863, the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg takes place. The Confederates plan to wage battle on northern soil, carried on for the second day in the small Pennsylvania town. With the failure to secure the unoccupied high ground the night before, General Lee and the Confederates seem to have missed an opportunity. Planned by General Lee, some of the most brutal fighting of the entire war took place that day as the Confederates attacked the Union line, including fighting at the wheat field, the peach orchard, and Devil's Den. As the battle raged on throughout the day, a heroic stand took place on Little Round Top as men from the 20th Maine Regiment charged down the hill to overtake the Confederates. The day was bloody and one of the bloodiest of the whole war, but it would continue on the next day. In 1881, four months after he was sworn in as the 20th President of the United States, while preparing to board a train in Baltimore, President James Garfield is shot by 39-year-old deranged gunman Charles Guiteau. One of the bullets struck Garfield's back. The injury would fester and eventually get infected, causing a constant sickness and fever. Just 200 days after being sworn in, Garfield would die on September 19th from the injuries. In 1937, on a mission to fly around the world, a day that may never be fully understood, American aviator Amelia Earhart, along with her co-pilot and navigator Frederick Noonan, go missing while in the areas of the South Pacific, attempting to fly from New Guinea. They were never seen again. In 1941, at Yankee Stadium in New York, Joe DiMaggio hits a two-run home run off a Red Sox pitcher Dick Newsom. With the hit, DiMaggio breaks Willie Keeler's 44-year-old record by hitting in 45 consecutive games. No other player has hit in at least 40 straight games since Pete Rose in 1978. In 1962, with the goal of a store that offered great value and great customer service, Inspired by his earlier store, Sam Walton opens up the first Walmart in Rogers, Arkansas. Today, Walmart has some 10,000 stores worldwide. And in 1995, he stormed the baseball world when he entered the league in 1995 with a unique windup and lively arm. Hideo Nomo of the Los Angeles Dodgers becomes the first Japanese baseball player ever selected to the All-Star Game. He would win the Rookie of the Year for the 1995 season. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a nice week. Be safe out there. And bless up.